Doc. Too bad that mountain cuts off the view of the fireworks. back to the cabin. You're anxious to tell Brock about the big game we have bagged, aren't you? No, oh, no. You can tell him if you want to. I'm tired of being proved a liar. You don't think Hudson lived through that? I'll believe he's dead when I've had the pleasure of burying him. I'm going to find the spot where that plane crashed. Come with me. I'm sorry, Ruth. If I'd have thought this had happened, I certainly wouldn't have brought you along. Now, now, none of that. I'd rather be here with you than back there at the mine wondering. You're a great pal. Now, look, here's what I want you to do. Take this compass and head due east. It ought to bring you out on the old mine road. What about you? I'm going back to where the plane crashed. I think whoever turned that ray on us will come snooping around. All right, Jim. Oh, yes. Take this. I won't need it. Goodbye, now. Good luck. They're done for. Let's get back to the cabin. get close enough for those two fellas to recognize him. The only thing I'm sure of is that Kurtz's cabin is the hideout. Then I'm for sending the marshal up there and arresting the whole bunch of them. Oh, it wouldn't work. Then why not? He's right, Bob. If the paratron's in that cabin, you couldn't get a hundred men within a mile of the place. Well, you know what it did to the plane. Well, it's not like you two to sit back and take it without a fight. What's on your mind? Very simple. We know the outlaws have a spy right here at the mine. Well, I've been working on that. I've got two suspects myself. Wait a minute, Bob. Wait till I finish with them. First, we're going to feed them a little wrong information for a change. Mm hmm? Follow this closely. We're going to spread the information around that we think the Paratron's at the old poke at mine. And that we intend to go up there this afternoon. But instead of doing that... How many men did you get? Five men's all we can spare. They're in the truck. I phoned the marshal. He's sending a deputy and some men over to poke it right away. That ought to do it. We've seen him. here from us. Come on, Bozen. Have you told Brock that they're getting the Peloton ready for shipping? Yeah, but I've got work to do before we move it out. Brock verified the tip we got on Hudson being at the Pocket Mine. The boys and I are riding up to take a look. We ought to be back when night falls.
What's next, boss? We're going to stick around and wait. Wait for what? For those outlaws to move far enough away so they can't hear the gunfire. Gunfire? What gunfire? Ours. Ours? Sure, we're going into the cabin and see if the paratron's in there. Now, look, while we're waiting, you go back to the truck and bring the rest of those men up here. Okay, boss. <laughs> Got the men spaced out just like you said, boss. You tell them to make a lot of noise. They'll make more noise than a division of infantry. All right, let's go. All right. We're surrounded. Don't fire, you fool. They ain't gonna get me without a fight. No time for fighting. This is time to use your brain. I ain't so sure about my brains, but I am about my shooting. Now so listen to me. Either there's nobody in that cabin or we've killed them all. If there's anybody in there, they're cagier than I am, but I'm going down and have a look. Huh? Coming? Come. Oh. Yeah. Now, here's the plan for action when the outlaws get here. You two men will be laying low over here on the right. You two men... Stay here and cover me. Oh, let me go, Jim. No, no, you're too big a target. If you see anything moving, be sure and hit it. I Stand just inside this door. I'm going to take a look in the other room. Close. What's well, Dr. House? Help me get him untied. Well, I know him. He was on the ship with us. Mr. Hudson, you have finally come. I'm so grateful, so thankful. Never mind that now, Doc. You take it easy while we look around. Search the rest of the cabin, see what you can find. Remember when we were on that ship? I went to see the captain about that murder. I don't understand why, but he had me locked in the hold. And then the ship ran into the iceberg. I remember nothing anymore. Nothing until one day I regained my senses and I was in the hands of these, these terrible men. The things they have made me do, you, you can't imagine. I'm so glad you have come. I couldn't find it anywhere, Jim. Oh, Dr. Miller's paratron's been stolen. We thought perhaps it was here. Yes, I know. With the gun in my back, they made me work it. Oh, well, you were the one who tried to burn me up last night. They tortured me. They forced me. Take him back to the gun site. See that he gets plenty of hot food and rest. Come on, Doc. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. 
doctor. Do you know where the Paratron is now? No. It's out there somewhere. Whenever they take me from here, I'm blindfolded. I'll go on up to Pocket Mine. The deputies probably grabbed those outlaws by now. Might be able to get some information out of them. it out. Remember orders if anything goes wrong. Drop your guns. You're under arrest. Back to the horses. those masks down. Get rid of those rifles. Dismount. 